we're joined by our NHL analyst, Frankie Corrado, for Hot or Not. And we're looking at Eastern NHL teams. We're going to start with Montreal. Should the Canadians be trying to trade for Patrick Laine, hot or not? Okay, Sarah, I'm not, like, overly hot on this, but I'm more than lukewarm. I'm more than lukewarm on this, and I've been warming up to it. And I'll tell you why. There's one X factor for me. That's Marty St. Louis. Marty St. Louis has a way of working with players and finding ways to get the most out of them. He can relate to them on a level that not every coach in the NHL can do. Now, if you wanted to bring him in, you have to eat at least 25% of that salary if you're Columbus, so you have to make him a six, six and a half million dollar player, which Montreal would be able to absorb in their cap structure. And the other thing, you know, the timing would be right for Patrick Laine to be a Montreal Canadian because there's not great expectations on the team to be a winning team, to be a playoff team. Um, so that means for Patrick Laine, he can kind of slide in under the radar there. He just has to go in there, be a part of what Marty St. Louis is preaching, his program, do his thing, and maybe it turns into something more without the expectations being too high for Patrick Laine. So I'm not exactly overly hot, but I'm more than lukewarm on it. Okay, we're medium rare, maybe. Yes. Uh, next season should be make or break year for Ottawa's core, hot or not? I am not on this. And this may sound weird because that core has been locked up and they haven't had success. But it almost feels like now you have to erase the past, the, per the Pierre Dorian past, and say that this is a new regime that these players are playing under. They finally have their coach that you are going to have for the foreseeable future. You just got a goaltender. It almost feels like for the Ottawa Senators, the clock is starting now. And so now that young core has been granted a little bit of a gimme considering what's happened in the past here. So they have a little more runway to prove themselves as far as how they can make the jump to a playoff team. So I'm not exactly saying that next season is a make or break year, but in two years, we might be having a different conversation. Okay, I like that. As for Toronto, of course, they lost Ilya Samsonov, but they got Anthony Stolarz. Mm -hmm. And they're hoping for better health for Joseph Wall. So the Maple Leafs goaltending situation is an upgrade over last year hot or not I will say not it feels like a lateral move but it has the potential to be an upgrade the numbers have the potential to be an upgrade over what it was last year like who would have thought Ilya Samsonov's game would have fallen off such a cliff last year that wasn't great for the team Joseph Wall played great in his place but still the goaltending position never felt solidified now if Joseph Wall can stay healthy and Anthony Stolarz can make the jump from being a career backup to a guy who turns into a 1B all of a sudden this newly reshaped blue line in front of those guys may give them a better chance to do that so while on paper I don't see it as an upgrade per se. Uh, it may look like an upgrade when it's all said and done and the team plays better in front of the goaltenders. Neutral, I guess. We're, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that was Hot or Not with Frankie Corrado. Hot or Not is brought to you by Montana's Barbecue and Bar, Canada's home for barbecue.